How do tax sale foreclosures work in the state of Arizona? Hi, this is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. This video is from a subscriber, a question from a subscriber, and he wants to do tax sale investing in Maricopa County, Arizona. So he's asking me how to get on board there, how to do it there. Now my audiobook on how to make money with tax sale investing does not include at this point a module on how to do it in Arizona. However, I'm currently working and maybe if you watch this video after a while, I uh, already have developed a new audiobook on different states and how to do these tax sale foreclosures in different states. And I will include Arizona, including some other states that people have asked me about. But I want to give you just a brief, quick few highlights on how to do it in Arizona. Now, before we go into the topic here, just please don't forget at the end of this, watching this video or even now, go to my website, juliamspencer.com. It's at the bottom of this video right here. You can read it. You can subscribe to my newsletter there. I send out periodic emails with all kinds of really cool information, as well as coupons and offers for my audiobooks that you can download and listen to right now, any time of the day, 24 seven, all days of the year, you can get that information into your fingertips right now. It's the most condensed information that I can offer. Um, there's an audiobook on how to make money with tax sale investing. That is the most condensed version of my knowledge on how to do this. It includes all kinds of really cool information, 15 modules of 20 minutes each, just packed full with experience, with um, go-to places, with questions answered, and anything else and everything that you need to know on all kinds of tax sale investing questions and how I have done my money and my fortune with it. So let's go back to the state of Arizona. So this particular subscriber asked me how to do tax sale investing in Arizona. Now I've attempted to make a video about this in the past. For some reason, I got cut off that time. And this particular investor, his name is Richard. He actually asked me how to do it in his state. Now he has said that he is in a non-tax lien state county but i want to just quickly correct that because arizona is actually a lien state where they sell liens these sales happen once a year in february in the state of arizona again please don't take my word as gospel right now i'm just giving you some general guidelines you need to check with your county officials to get the specific dates and the specific information for your county. I'm not a lawyer, so I can't give you legal advice. However, you can check that information with the local tax commissioner's office and find out the specific details. So yes, Arizona is actually a lean state and it is a lean state where the percentage rate is 16% per year. Arizona has a bid down the interest type of sale. That just basically means that it starts at 16% and you bid down the interest until it's as low as the lowest, uh, the most lowest bidder can go. And that's how much interest it will go for. And these sales happen once a year. Now, but what this person, this particular subscriber asked me about Richard, and thank you so much for your question, by the way, he wanted to invest in over the counter sales. And the state of Arizona does have over-the-counter sales. That just basically means that you can walk up to any of your tax commissioner's offices in the county where you want to invest, and you can basically ask for a list from them to see what is their real estate that they're holding right now, the county itself, and you can basically buy them over-the-counter there. So the one question I had with that is this particular subscriber said he's looking forward to the OTC sale. Um, OTC just means over the counter and normally that's done at any time of the year at any day. You can just walk in there any time and ask them. Now again, check with the county. Sometimes they have certain days reserved for that through, throughout the month. They don't want to deal with people walking in every day. But um, you really don't have to wait for a sale or anything like that. Now if you're talking about a lien sale, that only happens once a year of course in the state of Arizona. We're still talking about the state of Arizona here. Now, one particular thing I want to caution people about that want to invest in the state of Arizona. First off, the redemption periods for the liens are extremely long. They are very long compared to some other states. So what you need to do in, term, in your research, if you're an out-of-state investor, and Richard here states that he is an out-of-state investor, that is that you need to check the adjacent states 
that are easy for you to get to or to travel to or where you go normally go anyways and check the sales there. Don't stop at just one state and then d decide, okay, this isn't going to work for me because whatever redemption period is too long or um, the procedures are too difficult or anything like that. But check out the other states that are around you. That might be um, easier ways to invest. So my recommendation for an out-of-state investor is check other states as well that are adjacent to the state that you ideally want to invest in and find a couple of alternatives. Of course, we have 50 states, so there's a lot of options. But one particular thing I want to just caution you, and please um, purchase my tax sale foreclosure, how to make money with tax sale foreclosures audiobook because it will have some of these details in there. And also my future book on how to make money with tax sale foreclosures because it will tell you some of the stuff that I'm about to tell you now. But the state of Arizona is very particular. There's actually two states where you have to be very careful to invest in tax sale foreclosures. And one of them is New Mexico and Arizona. And the reason I say that is because, because a tax sale does not take priority over a state lien. So if there's some sort of state lien already on the property, maybe on the land or something, and you purchase the property at a tax sale foreclosure, and you think you own the property, and there was actually a state lien on there, well, guess what? You're also responsible for that. That is not erased by the tax sale foreclosure, which is um, different than how most of the st other states work. So what you need to do when you invest in the state of Arizona before you bid on a property, you check with the actual state of Arizona to see if there's any liens against that property that are issued by the state. You would be going to a county sale or maybe a city sale, but you need to check a level up. So we're talking city, county, state, and then there's federal IRS liens and stuff. So you need to go and of course, you need to check to see if there's a specific city lien as well. I always mention that because I feel like city and county, if the property is located in within city limits, sometimes city um, commissioner's offices or city taxing authorities bill separately for taxes for the city and then separately for the county. So if you go to a county sale, always check the city. But in the state of Arizona, you also need to check with the state. So you need to check with the state of Arizona if there's any kind of state liens on that property. And this is different than most other states. It's very particular to that particular state. And you need to be able to check on all of that. And then once you see if there's a lien on there, just check and see how much it is. Is it something that you want to cover? And if it's too big, then just don't bid on that property. All of that and more information, even the information of where the laws for tax sale foreclosures for Arizona are located in the law books, or you can even look them up online if you had the paragraph codes, which I will give you. All of that information will be contained in my new audiobook on tax sale foreclosures. I would recommend that you go today and purchase my original one, How to Make Money with Tax Sale Foreclosures, my first version. Arizona is not included in that. However, a lot of the process and how to go about the auction, how to get lists and things like that is kind of the same. It's very general to all the states. And then just keep watching and subscribe to my newsletter so when I'm ready to announce my new audiobook, then um, you can go ahead and, and download it or even pre-purchase it if you like, send me a message. And I'm going to include information like this, exactly how to do it, where to make the phone calls, how to get inf information, and how you can become successful as a tax sale investor in the state of Arizona, and some of the caveats that you need to watch out for when there's particular little things that are odd or different or that could screw up your profit margin. And for more tips like this, go to my website, juliamspencer.com. Don't delay. I, I keep saying that subscribe to my newsletter because otherwise you won't remember my website and subscribe there. And I hope to see you investing very, very soon. Have a great day. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.